show you how to add a device in live action. First, we're going to go to File and then Add Devices. Then we're going to type in the IP address of the device that you want to add. We're then going to enter the SNMP string for this device. Next, we're going to configure the device login credentials. For this, you can either use a default configuration or you can specify your own credentials. So in this case, I want to specify my own credentials for this device. For the monitoring mode setup, you can use the same previous settings that you just entered or you can set up specific credentials again. I'm going to choose to use the default previous one. The validation details will then pop up telling you the device capabilities such as NetFlow, MediaNet, and MediaTrace. So after review, you can hit continue. We're then going to select the interfaces that you want to monitor on this device. Then we're going to select the VLANs if your device has VLAN terminated. Next, we're going to select which interface you want to configure NetFlow on. We're then going to enable polling for this device. By default, LiveAction enables Flow, QoS, and IPSLA, but you can select or deselect as you prefer. If there's a required command to push the device, LiveAction will list it here and you can choose to send it in automatically or you can choose to manually enter it in later. So then we're going to hit finish. Then this screen asks if you want to save the running configuration or not. In this case, we do not want to save it, so we hit no. And once you do that, you can see that your device is added right up here in the system. By right-clicking on the device and then going to View, then selecting Zoom into Device, LiveAction will locate the device that you just added. So you can see it right here. And that's pretty much it. That's how to add a device in LiveAction.